and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do another perfume video and it's going to be on my most affordable perfumes in my collection. I also want to do a video on my most expensive perfumes in my collection but I thought I would start with the affordable. So for this video of course I didn't include any perfumes from Zara or perfumes from you know brands that make a lot of dupes just because I felt like those would be you know their own videos and also I probably have other affordable perfumes in my collection that I found and like winners for a really good deal you know stuff like that but I decided to include perfumes that like if you were to like look for these perfumes right now you could find these at a really good price if that makes sense also i did my makeup pretty quickly i don't even know can you see my eye makeup i think it looks so good i did something that i haven't done in a while i think this is my favorite naked palette from urban decay the naked cherry i got this years ago and i've used it definitely but usually i use more like the dark shade anyways i did use this but i have more of like this shade right here like this one on on my lid mixed with the dark one I did it, I don't have a lot. I really like the way that it looks. So let me know if you want maybe a video using this palette. I also kind of blend, eesh, did I just mess this up? Anyways, the problem with me and my makeup, my my lids crease so bad. I did my makeup like two minutes ago. <laughs> my eyelids are already creasing. Okay, anyways, hopefully I didn't mess it up. But basically, I was looking for a top to wear, and I have this top from Aritzia. It's almost like a peplum top. It has this kind of strap. I really like it, but I never know what to pair with it on the bottom because it's a peplum, and I don't know. I feel like I just never know what to wear with it. But I thought it would be good for filming, and then I have this bra with it. Uh, Victoria's Secret. It's the Dream Angels Unlined. One of my favorite bras from Victoria's Secret. Anyways, in this color, so that's why I did my makeup with the purple. But now, I feel like it's a little too booby for, for, I don't know, I didn't know it was going to be so booby. So I'm going to hide it, but just like, I'm matching the eyes with the bra. That was my, that was my goal. Okay, so I love this purpley kind of makeup. My lips is the same combo that I've been wearing quite a bit recently. This lip liner, which is my perfect lip liner, but... They don't sell this anymore and I got this only like two months ago. It's Deeply Teddy from MAC, it's the most perfect color. And then this gloss from Patrick Ta and she's an influencer. So anyways, that's the look for today. So I'm going to start with a celebrity perfume. So I have actually two perfumes from Britney Spears, but I wanted to talk about this one today. So this is Private Show and also, yes, I'm missing a nail. This is called Private Show. It came out, I think, in 2016. This is such a good i found this at shoppers drug mart for 20 19 dollars uh, but i'm sure you can find this amazon I'll, I'll leave the links below this is such a nice it smells to me it really smells like meringue uh, i hopefully this is the name in english it basically this is a lactonic like milky fragrance but very sweet very like creamy but yeah it just smells like meringue when it comes to like gourmand or fruity not fruity but like really sweet scents i like when they feel when they smell really like fluffy in a way more than like chocolate or you know it just smells like fluffy cotton candy or like fluffy sweet milk or like meringue i usually wear this one to bed because you know i like wearing perfume to bed and so i usually grab my more affordable ones but i would definitely wear this out this is so nice if you like sweet scents I think you would really enjoy this one and I also really like the bottle I feel like this looks like these perfume bottles for like kids you know that would usually be made out of plastic but it's glass <laughs> I like it the whipped cream coffee nectarine clementine dolce the leche jasmine orange blossom amber and musk so there's no milk note but I guess the whipped cream yeah I really like this it's you know a cheapie but it's a really really good one and yeah, it just makes you smell really, really sweet. So, Britney Spears, she makes amazing perfumes. Uh, it was, Britney Spears was my first perfume. It was the Midnight Fantasy, which I still have. So the next one is Sarah Jessica Parker Lovely. This is my second bottle. Again, you can get this at Chopper's Drug Mart for $20. This is one of my favorite perfumes I have in my collection. If I had like a top 10, I think this would make it. 
It's just because I don't have anything like this. I think what she was going with this, like a Narciso scent, very musky, which I don't own any Narciso scents, which I definitely should. But it's like that very musky, a little bit powdery. I think there's a gin note or a gin and tonic note in this. It, it smells clean. It smells just soft, but people can definitely smell it. Yeah, it's just that pretty musky scent. For a celebrity perfume, I feel like this is more like elevated i want to say every time i spray it i'm like oh wow this is so nice okay so this has lavender martini i'm sorry did i say gin and tonic my apologies martini bergamot mandarin orange rosewood patchouli orchid narcissus musk woodsy notes cedar and white amber one of my favorites and i will get a third bottle once i'm done once i'm done with this one last one that you can get for 20 dollars pretty much i have to mention pink sugar this is my third bottle. I I love this. Does it make you smell like a teenager? Maybe, but, and just, can you listen to that? I just love the sound of this. Yeah, this is my third bottle. I remember when I first got this perfume, I was wearing this in the heat. I wore this all summer. I was like, no, it's not too sweet. This pretty much has all the sweet notes that you can think of. Um, I haven't worn this in a while. I think mine turned recently. So I will be spraying this like on my sheets because I feel like if you spray on fabric, like the alcohol smell kind of evaporates. But I would definitely purchase this again. If you want to smell sweet and like pure cotton candy, like burnt cotton candy, would it be like an everyday scent for me? Probably not. I think you can still wear this at any age. I still really, really like this. And I saw recently at Shoppers, they have the blue, the red, and the yellow one the big bottle for $21. So I'm tempted to get one of them. So let me know if you've tried them. I wanna pick out one, cause you can't smell them, but I think I'm gonna go with the yellow, just cause we're still in the summer. So this came out in 2004, so it came out a long time ago. Um, so it has raspberry, orange, bergamot, fig leaf, cotton candy, licorice, which personally I hate, but I don't smell it in this perfume. Strawberry, red berries, lily of the valley, caramel, vanilla, musk, tonka bean, and sandalwood. So it has every note you can think of if you know you want like a nostalgic kind of cotton candy teenager scent. Go for this one, it's such a good one, and yeah, I like it. <laughs> Let's do this one. Let's do this one because this is again one of the most affordable ones. So I'm not going to talk too much about this because I just mentioned it in my last video uh, on my vanilla perfumes, but this is. Uh, La Tafa Yara. I love the bottle. I have to say that again. Um, so this is an Arabian perfume that you can buy for a very affordable price on Amazon for the, in the U.S. And in Canada, I bought it on FragranceBuy.ca, which now I went and it sold out. And I want to mention one thing. I have to mention it because I just have to. I talked about this in my story on Instagram. The next day, my brother picks me up. I get in his car and he often complains about the amount of perfume that I wear. He always complains. He tells me that I wear too much, da da da. And I'm like, well, you know me, like we've lived in the same house, like you, you, you know me. So like, why do you complain all the time when it's expected from me? You know what I mean? So anyways, I usually don't pay too much attention to it. But that time he complained a lot and I was not wearing this. I was wearing another combination. A week passes, his girlfriend messages me and she sends me this and she's like, oh, he bought it for me. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. The guy, well, and my brother didn't tell me that he bought the perfume. He basically, he saw the perfume in my story. He knows his girlfriend likes perfume. He was like, oh, I'll, I'll just get it for her. His sister talked about it. So he trusts my opinion enough to blind buy a perfume for his girlfriend but then he complains about me and the way that I smell too much, but like you're buying the, anyways, girl. So when I, when I found that out, I was like, I'm gonna hold on to this forever. <laughs> and so anyways, of course I called my brother and I told him. Anyways, this is an amazing perfume. What I wanted to say, I think, yeah, it's sold out now on fragrancebuy.ca, but I'll try to find it somewhere else for Canadians. So yeah, this was $25. This smells, oh, this is, this is so good. It smells very pink, very playful, fruity, vanilla. It's like a creamy, fruity vanilla. Makes you smell like a Victoria's Secret angel. It's just a very easy scent. Um, it's not, you know, this is, hate to say it, this is a bit more juvenile. This is 
not as juvenile, you know? I don't like saying that some scents are juvenile, but this, you know, you smell like straight up cotton candy, like burnt cotton candy. I talk too much about the lasting power just because when I wear it, Recently, it's not like I've worn it, you know, from the morning to night. Probably not the longest lasting perfume that I have. So yeah, I'm definitely excited to try more of this brand because I really enjoy this one. I could not believe that my brother bought this because of me, yet he always complains about the way that I smell. And he told me, he would say, it's not the way that you smell, it's just you put on too much. But I'm like, I don't know. Okay, now let's talk about Lush. So Lush, honestly, I feel like we don't talk about Lush. I mean, maybe it's just me. Lush perfumes are definitely underrated because they're such good quality. So I only have one so far. This is Lust. This is a very heavy jasmine perfume. If you like Alien, um, but you want more of a punchy jasmine even more, I think you would really like this one. You need to like something strong. You need to, you know, fill up a room. I, I think my brother would die if I wore that. But it smells niche. And, I mean, I don't know. I really don't have that many niche perfumes. I'm not a niche connoisseur. Very earthy but creamy jasmine. It's really nice. It projects definitely. I remember one time I got a compliment on this and I was outside and I guess it was really windy. This girl was like, what is your perfume? And she wrote it down in her phone. 30 mil, but the full size, like 100 mil, is not that expensive. Definitely under $100. I really like Lust. But another one that's definitely on my list right now is American Cream. It's such a great perfume. It's very vanilla, creamy, and strawberry. It definitely smells like the strawberry a lot more. So the 30 mil is $70. I feel like when I bought it, it was cheaper. I was for sure that this was like $50. I bought this two years ago, so maybe they, they, the price is... The 100 mil is $140. Say, I'm sorry y'all I did not know I really thought this was more affordable am I on the right website yeah this is for Canada I mean it's still under a hundred dollars um, I mean perfumes are expensive this is a heady intoxicating definitely carnal jasmine but yeah recently I started using the um, super milk the leave-in and I love the scent I really wish they came out with a perfume I would definitely buy it I think they did came out with one in the UK but it's not available anymore so anyways, Lush, if you want a, a perfume, like a 30 ml I guess, for under $100, I would recommend Lush because they all smell luxurious in a way, but they're more affordable. I mean, I really thought they were more affordable than, than what it is, but I'm still going to keep it in the video, okay? <laughs> now I want to talk about, again, these are not like $20, I want to talk about the, the Shade Scents from MAC. Unfortunately. They don't make this one anymore, but they do make the Creme de Nude. So this is my Creme de Nude. This is my second bottle. Creme de Nude is a very musky... It's definitely more musky than vanilla, but it's definitely... It has some vanilla, it has some amber, I think. It's just, to me, this is the perfect, like, early fall set. Because I bought this in a fall. I'm very, like... I associate scents smells with like time of year so yeah these retail for 67 dollars the nude smells like neroli caramel musk suede madagascar vanilla and amber anyway so this is such a nice musky scent very signature worthy and the lasting power is good i like i said this is my second bottle you can probably so i bought my first bottle from the store my second bottle from a cco i really love this i would definitely repurchase it it's a really good scent. I just love to smell it. If you're looking for a musky vanilla scent, it's not sweet. This is definitely not a sweet vanilla. Yeah, this is so nice. I have to start wearing this. I mean, the early fall is coming, so I will be wearing this quite a bit. But now the other one I want to talk about is, again, the MAC Shade Scents in Velvet Titty. So this one, unfortunately, has been discontinued. I also really love the Candy Yum Yum, which they had these two and the candy yum yum available for quite a long time because in the beginning i think they had six they discontinued three and then they only had the three i never owned candy yum yum but i was always like oh yeah i want to buy that one i never did and now they don't sell it i want to talk about this because i really don't wear this one enough but today i wore it and i'm so glad i did because wow this smells so good, but it's a very polarizing scent. I did buy this at a CCO a couple of years ago, so I need to use it up. Basically, this smells like honey and tobacco. 
On Fragrantica, a lot of people say this is a good dupe for like a Tom Ford tobacco vanille. I remember when I bought this, again, this smells like a sweater, early fall. I I really, really love this, this perfume. So when I bought this, I first sprayed it on, I think, and I was like, ew, this is disgusting. <laughs> and then I went, I went about my business and then I kept smelling my hand and I was like, this is the most enchanting smell i've ever smelled in my life and so i ran back to the store and i bought it and i remember that night i was shopping in montreal with my friend we weren't supposed to be going out because i'm not from montreal but we had drove there we weren't supposed to go out that night but then we ended up going out and so i was kind of like refreshing my makeup and stuff and like spraying perfume and i told my friend i was like oh do you want some perfume too like you know she's like no i'm okay and i was like no girl like so, like i don't mind She's like, no, like she basically didn't want to tell me that she hated this perfume and I was just like spraying. And I know my mom, I know this is also not a favorite of hers. My mom and I, we have similar but different tastes. I love a spicy perfume. This, you know, a man could definitely wear this, which is funny because on my boyfriend, I love a more aquatic scent. This is usually what he wears, but a man could definitely wear this and it would it would work really well so this is definitely more of a unisex scent but yeah i love it this is what i'm wearing today and it's we're still in the summertime but i just i love it so i'm gonna wear it a lot more before it turns because the color did turn a little bit but it still smells really really good basically this smells very spicy it smells like honey which honey is hit or miss for me in perfumes i don't always like it i'm hoping they come out with just another line so this has tobacco blossom ginger bergamot honey vanilla orchid mimosa tonka bean musk and papyrus so i really well i mean i have to stop talking about it because you can't get it anymore but yeah basically tobacco honey and tonka bean and ginger you know i can see how this is more of a polarizing scent but i love it okay and now the last one is technically not in the most affordable but i mean Hopefully this video is not disappointing because yes, they're not all $20, but they're all under $100, which as we know, it's difficult for perfumes and you can probably find a lot of these on discounted sites as well. So hopefully you're not mad. I honestly thought some of these were going to be less expensive. The last one that I want to mention is actually a pheromone perfume, which I've talked about last year in my video. So this is from the brand Matchmaker and you can get this from a specialty store. Um, so I'll leave the link below and I also have a coupon code if you want to get it. It's $10 off, I think, or 10% off. I will confirm on the screen, but yes, I do have a code, so I'll leave it below. Basically, this one, this smells so good. It has like a very, it has like a creamy freshness to it. Um, okay, basically how this works, they have two different scents. They have the red one, which smells technically more feminine and the black one that smells more masculine but then they have pheromones for each so they have two of the pink one either to attract him attract her and then same for the black one to either attract him or her you know it has a really nice yeah creamy freshness to it i'll read you the notes but basically this is an amazing one to layer because you can do like your full-on perfume basically pheromones you know it's gonna supposed to attract which i need to test this one out i will be testing this one on my boyfriend but i won't tell him that i'm testing it so yeah i think this would be even a good perfume to get just a rollerball of because you can do like your pulse points and then spray kind of your go-to perfume and then this you have like the pheromone you know this is like your pheromone then you can add your perfume so anyways but i'll read you the notes for this oh yeah the brand is matchmaker but this is called red diamond so it has jasmine grapefruit amber and a hint of citrus yeah you definitely smell the citrus then it has that like soft kind of warm base if you will so yeah i thought i would mention this one it is more on the affordable ish side for perfume um and i think right now on the website it is on sale so anyways i'll leave it below but yeah these are all the perfumes i wanted to talk about today um i hope you enjoyed this video like i said they're not all like 20 dollars i thought about this video i was like okay i need to go and buy affordable perfumes to kind of have more more of a selection to share in my video but i'm like no i can create content with all the perfumes that i have like i have plenty so for a little bit you know i just want to use what i have but before before i let you go i just want to talk about two perfumes that i don't have but that are more affordable and i would definitely love to have again in my collection so the first one is from michael germain it's called tattoo 
I found a bottle years ago at Winners for $12. It smells so good. I really wish I still had a bottle. It smells like caramel, vanilla with some citrus. It smells amazing. It's the perfect like sweet gourmand for summer because it has that nice freshness added to it. So I love that perfume. And then if you're Canadian, you probably remember the store Jacob, which they went out of business a couple of years ago. But then recently I was thinking about their perfumes that they had. I know the classic perfume was quite popular. But I really love the, I think it was called Very Chic or Tres Chic, I don't know. But, turns out they still sell the perfumes on their website. So I really want to order a bottle of the Chic one, the Very Chic one. I just remember it smelled amazing. Now back then, when I was, I don't know, I think I was like 17, 18, 19 max, um, I had just the rollerball and I just loved it so much. It was such, I mean back then. You know was young it was such a sexy scent i was like i am so grown and sexy but it was you know like maybe today it wouldn't have the same effect but i really want to buy this perfume again and it's 75 dollars on the website so i'll leave that below um but yeah these are all the ones that i wanted to talk about today like i said i will do a version for my more expensive ones but i wanted to start with this today so yeah, thank you for watching. I'm so happy that I'm back at filming videos. Yeah, I'm feeling so motivated. Let me know what other kind of videos you want to see from me. But yeah, you'll see a lot of you know perfume content, hair. Um, I'll try to do some fashion videos as well. Those just take more of my time kind of. But uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching this video. You can follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more content. And yeah, I'll see you very soon in a new video. Bye.